Hey guys, for today's DIY, we're gonna take this old busted buffet that doesn't have a lot of detail. We're gonna paint it up, add some appliques, and put on a transfer, and I'm gonna take you along with me so that way you can see it every step of the way. So this top was completely water damaged, the veneer was all warped, so I painstakingly scraped off all the veneer, but it's still got some dents and dings in it. Um, I'm going to try to stain it. If I don't like the way that it looks, then I might wind up painting it, but I don't like to paint over raw wood anyway, so we'll see what happens. I've got my Jacobian stained by Midwax. It's pretty dark, so I'm hoping it'll hide some of the lovely imperfections. Because what I'm staining is just like the underlayment. So this is what would be underneath the veneer. So right now I'm staining the sides because we replaced them and I want when I make it distressed and chippy, I want to be able to see the dark stain underneath. So I'm just using some old stain out of the garage that we have some old custom order because I'm going to paint over it so I'm not super worried about the color. This top is like totally not perfect. It, one layer of stain is not gonna be good. So I am out of Jacobian, so barnwood effect it is. So I've got my classic gray min wax. You could just use watered down chalk paint too, but this is what I got. And I'm just gonna go over the top and mix them. And I have a feeling this is gonna need some white dry brush too, to really hide the fact that it was not the kind of wood that's meant to be seen. Yeah, that laminate was on there for a reason. Yeah, yeah the veneer covered this ugly cheap wood and there's like old glue and stuff, so it's kind of like all splotchy. So I'm adding these new um, oval medallions. They will be up on our website. They're new and I'm just gonna put E6000 and I'm clamping them in place. I'll let them dry about two hours, then we're ready to go. I'm gonna do one on each of the bottoms of these, and then one over there. Then I'm also gonna add this elegant... Um, we don't know what to call it yet. Uh, we don't know what to call it yet, so you'll have to find it. So this is kind of a precarious position. We can't clamp it, so we're actually just gonna lay it on its back and put something heavy on this, and that will hold it till it dries. So once I get started with appliques, I can't stop. This is our double leaf applique, and I actually just used an X-Acto knife and cut it in the middle and made two. And we're gonna glue this on each side of it because I feel like it makes a more complete look. And once it's painted, it'll look like it's original to the piece. And then I also added these European appliques here um, because it felt like these doors were really plain. They needed something fun. So I added these on each door, and then in the middle, this is where our transfer is gonna go. All right, we're gonna talk about a few things. One is the inside of these cabinets, Seb didn't film me, but I used DIY and Little Black Dress. It covers in one coat, and the inside of these was less than desirable, plus there was a new back that was raw wood that we had to fix. So a quick fix is just to paint the inside of the cabinets black. You do it in one coat, and it hides all the imperfections. Next little trick here is that I've taken these appliques and I've also painted them in little black dress. You can stain them if you want, but I have the paint out. Once that paint, you can see it's still a little shiny, but once it's dry, I'm gonna spray it with shellac. So that way when I paint over the top with milk paint, I can wet distress and there will be black underneath and not white, because I don't want white to show through. Let me just give you another close up of this. Little black dress is what I used. You can buy this on my website. It's all natural, doesn't smell great stuff. So the outside of this buffet is getting painted with milk paint. Recently you've seen me use a spoon or a fork or even one of those blender balls to mix it up, but I finally broke down and bought this. It was under $20 with free shipping on Amazon Prime. It's a Proctor Silex immersion blender. I don't get paid to sell it, but it works amazing. And what I do is I just mix up my paint with a fork and then I turn this on and I mix up my milk paint in my container and it gets it smooth. It's got bubbles, it's still settling right now, but it gets it smooth and gets rid of the chunks and it makes it so much easier than shaking it to death. So if you're gonna be using milk paint a lot, get yourself an immersion blender. So I'm starting here in these middle drawers because this is where I'm going to be putting my transfer. 
So it's gotta dry. So while everything else is drying that I've sprayed with shellac, I'm gonna get started milk. The color I'm using today is 5050 Sweetie Jane to Pantry Door and Sweet Pickens Milk Paint that you can buy at jamierayvintage.com. I also added some extra bond because I don't want it to be super chippy. I wanna be able to control my distress. So I'm just gonna paint these two middle doors and get them started while everything else is drying. Oh, and if you're wondering, I am painting the top in case you're wondering why I'm getting paint all over it. The stain just was super splotchy and I didn't like it, so I've decided it'll just look best painted. I tried. All right, so this is an IOD transfer that we have, and obviously this is way too big to fit on the two drawers in the middle of the buffet. So I am just going to cut a couple of sections out that we want to use. And we'll use the rest of it on something else. Now if you speak French and I'm totally messing up the phrase or the name of this company, I'm sorry. Jamie's finishing up painting the rest of the buffet. I'm gonna go ahead and distress the drawers so that we can put the transfers on. I'm using 220 on the orbital. You'll notice we have a new sander. My Black & Decker sander died and it's no longer carried at Home Depot so I had to go for this one. Not hating it, it's just a little more expensive. And I probably could have found the Black & Decker somewhere but you know, we'll see how long this one lasts. The first transfer that I picked out, that I cut out, that you guys saw on video was voted off the island. Careful. So now I've got to just... Uh, is that centered? Is that looking centered? Yeah, I think that's centered there. You can kind of tell where the middle is. There's like this stretch down the middle of the doors. Yeah. Because I took the... Whoop. Oh, don't... You're supposed to tape it. <laughs> I know, I'm messing it up. Sorry, IOD. Don't watch this video. Okay, let me hold it. You should tape it, it makes it stay still. Makes it stay still while you're doing the transfer. Or you can just have your wife hold it. I vote that option. I liked it the other day where we just like did it and then peeled it up. Yeah, but I think I got it figured out. If you just push really hard, I'm gonna zoom in so you can watch it go from light to dark. See right here, that's kind of darker. I am pushing pretty hard, but I, I found that if you go just go over it a bunch like this fast, pushing pretty hard, that you don't have to mess around with it. The paper just breaks loose and the transfer stays on. There you go, done. Ta-da! It's not level. It's, oh it, well. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like you did it uh, like perfect. All right, now put the drawer in, Let's see what it looks like. So we haven't sealed it yet, but when we're all done, we'll seal it. <laughs> this is what happens, Zeb, when you don't tape it down. It just looks like it's curved on purpose. What are you talking about? It's curved down here, too. And this is straight. I think that's the way the transfer was. Okay. Anyways, we're going with that. That's it, the way the transfer was. If it's a high-traffic surface like a buffet, um, you want to go ahead and seal it afterwards. And the reason why he sanded it and we wiped off all the dust is it has to be a smooth, clean surface and this milk paint is really really soft and smooth once you sand it so now we have this one let's see if i can center it so the center you can see right is right there see that little there's like this little tiny like strip oh i see it well you, here's the center because here's the thing so that's center right there just make sure it's level that's what i'm mostly worried about okay no tape You're no tape again i'm a rebel such a rebel all right. I could help you. We have, like, every time you buy one of these, you get one of these tools, and I saved the so last one. So how much is this particular transfer? $22. I think we'll get at least one, if not and two more projects, out of the one big transfer. If you have, like, a big dresser, you could put the whole transfer on it. But a lot of times, the dresser's just not big enough, so it's nice that you can break this particular one up. I've done this twice. I'm a professional now. Mm -hmm. 
So we're not gonna sand this part anymore. These drawers are completely done. Once you put this on there, you can't sand. But once the rest of this dries, I'm gonna sand it all, except for where the appliques are. Those I'm gonna wet distress, because if you remember, we painted them black. So if I wet distress, just the black will poke through. And then I'll decide if I wanna do any decorative wax. So now that we've got this back plate on, we just need to get a hole for the knob. I'm just going to go right in the center there. So I'm taking a damp rag and I'm going over the applique and just pulling off that paint. And the black paint's coming through. I'm just gonna do that to all the appliques so that way the detail really comes out. All right, Jamie wants to do a dark wax or black wax over the top of these appliques and all of this detail. So I'm gonna seal it with polyacrylic. I'm also gonna polyacrylic right over the top of this transfer and that should seal that in so that it doesn't come off. It'll be as durable as the rest of the piece. So we spray sealed the whole piece so that way our transfer would be sealed on. And I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of dark wax. The reason why I didn't dark wax it before is because I just want it to be subtle. I don't want it to be kind of super dirty. So if it's already sealed, that just gives me a little bit more control. So I'm just going over the top of it. Getting it down in all the cracks. And then taking a damp rag. Well, that didn't work. So much for subtle. Yeah. Okay, so I am laying the knobs out here. And I'm just going to line them up kind of on this ruler. It's right here at the 13. goes straight up there. And then once I have it where I want, I make sure I'm level. And then I'm just going to use these screws that are in the back to make my marks. Just press it down in there and that's where I need to drill. Now I'm just using the ruler to line this up. That way I'm still the same from there. I could mark it all out and measure it all out, but once you, if you're doing this all day long, that takes a long time. So. It's easier to just kind of eyeball it and line it up. So while Jamie is currently sitting on top of I'm this I'm testing thing. out to make sure that it's sturdy. <laughs> we made sure that we had a great surface to work with. I cleaned it up, removed the veneer, and then we added all of our appliques. The two new ones that we use today will be on the website, so that way you can buy them for your next project. They made a huge difference. There's one right here, and then on the bottom. It was a super boring buffet, so it definitely needed them. And then once we painted it, we added this awesome transfer that's on our website, and you can use these transfers to make signs or on furniture. If they're on furniture, then you do need to seal them. And I think that's it. Some new knobs at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Oh, and, and we weren't loving the knobs. They were too big. But no, I do like them. Yeah, they should. And when you see this on my social media, you're going to see a back on it because I'm going to go to Home Depot right now and buy it so that can make me a back. She's going to make me do some more work on it. Yeah. Because we haven't done enough work on it already. <laughs> well, and then we also added that the black wax. We're going to put here, a so. back on it and charge another $200. We're going to charge $200 more. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> to buy the appliques, the transfer, the paint, and the wax used today, go to jamieratevintage.com. When you're buying from our website, you're supporting our family, helping us make more DIY videos. Be sure to stay tuned because Eb's going to put all the glamour shots of this. It'll be glamour. And, oh, and the before picture, mm -hmm. like the before before. I think when it started, we'd already done some work to it. So the before before picture. Yeah. Um, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that way you can join us for more DIY. Yes. Yes. Yeah.